Are we just trying to get these last four done so we can go home? Or are we going to try to come back and get better? We're getting, sick, touchdown, touchdown. We're getting better? Are we getting better? Are we getting better right now? Yes, right, here you go. Here we go. There's a lot of reasons why I coach. But probably the, the best one is to be able to interact with young men beyond the field is probably the most fun. I mean, there's a lot of other things that entail coaching, college football, as far as recruiting and academics, which are all important. But I think at the end of the day, I think uh, the biggest joy or the, the most passion I have for the uh, having the chance to coach these guys is to get on the grass with them and um, improve their and, and, and improve their skill set. Damn! Somebody throw rockets down there. Let's go, fellas. My style of coaching is probably um, I kind of want to kind of see myself more as a teacher. Is that I really like to get the uh, the football knowledge or the football IQ high on all my players. Um, but then I also like high energy, so I, th I think if uh, you want your players to play with high energy, I think you have to coach with high energy. So I'm going to say that's probably my biggest style. Catch, set, there you go. Good. Put it right on his chest. Use that same footwork for the hitch. N number one to me, and I've had a, I've been lucky enough, I've been blessed enough to, to coach or, and been around a lot of uh, very successful quarterbacks, both in college and the NFL. I think the one common denominator I always see in, in the good ones is passion. Um, you know, their love for the game, uh, every day, they treat every day as a game day. Doesn't matter if it's January 1st all the way through to December 31st. Way to go, guys. Keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. Here we go. Keep it rolling. Super job. I think the number one thing I look for is the relationship you develop with the, with the young man, the, kind of the connection. You know, obviously, there's the parameters of, you know, you want big, strong, fast, athletic, uh, playmakers, all those type of things, all those tangible things. But I also think what's very important is the intangibles. Why, why do I think recruits need to come to the University of Arizona? Um, other than it being you know, one of the top academic schools in the country, and, and the location of Tucson and playing in the Pac-12, uh, the facilities are, are becoming some of the top facilities in the Pac-12. Uh, but the chance to play in the Pac-12, play for the head coach and coach someone, and be, uh, you know, be around a group of, of players and a group of coaches that we've had at Arizona, I don't know, I think it's second to none.